Hi lovely people, have a good day to all of you. I'm Silent Solomon and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that all of you are fine and good. So take care of yourself, stay safe and God bless. For my today's vlog, I'm here in the kitchen as I'm sharing you and share with you the yummy dish that I'm going to cook for today. It's lamb stew. So here we go guys, stay with me, enjoy watching my videos as I brought to you the yummy and very easy dish, the lamb stew. Hey guys as you can see I have my lumped tenderloin meat here in my chopping board so I'm just going to chop this into chunks in bite size but before I chop all of this but sorry guys I already put wash this and put dry into the kitchen towel or paper towel so I already put dry this one and before I slice this into bite size I will take some of the meat and put it aside first because there is no place for my chopping board yeah so here we go guys I'm just going to slice this into cubes in bite size cubes like this and sorry guys like this like this big just bite size guys and like this and then I'll just put it aside and put it into the plate and again, it's the same size. And put it aside. so on and so forth guys it's just a bite size not really big not really small it's just um bite size only that if you just it can fit in into your mouth And then I have one more left. Yeah, that's it, guys. Hey guys, I already finished um, slicing the lamb meat into bite size. Now what I do is I just put a little bit of salt and pepper and also flour to marinate. I just put flour, it's because to make the meat soften while cooking it. So that's the purpose I put the flour guys. I don't know if some people put it but I do to help the meat soften. So here guys, I just put just a bit of pepper and salt. And um, flour guys. Maybe just two tablespoon. And then you just mix everything coat all the meat 
yeah just keep on mixing guys just to coat all the meat because what i do th with this is just i need to brown first into the into the pan but what should i do i use cast iron pads i will just brown the meat over there and at the same pot that i will use to cook it together with the vegetables so just keep on mixing all of these guys until it will cook into the meat yeah just keep on mixing guys if you just already saw that all the meat is being coated by the flour and then that's it and then you'll just put it aside so i think it's already coated guys so here we'll just put it aside hi guys here i have all my vegetables here I have my orange, carrot, celery, garlic, potato, and onion, and later on my peas, guys. So now I'll put aside first this and the orange and potatoes and celery, garlic, and I will just left the carrots okay guys i will start slicing my carrot i'll just slice like this do the big chunks Put it aside guys now my potatoes just sorry guys it's just blocking the view like this and just like that and like this And now my celery it's like those stick of celery guys just only like this And now the garlic I'll just roughly chop guys I'm 
do. I'll just put it aside. Now the onion guys cut into half. Just slice like this. I'll just put it aside first, guys. Yeah, it looks like lots of onion, but later on it will shrink down because if I will caramelize this onion, it will shrink down, maybe left one tablespoon. My tears is coming out guys. I'm crying Oof. because of onion. Oops, it drops my onion. And now the orange. What I do this one, I zest because I need the orange rind. So I zest the orange and later the juice I will also squeeze into the dish. So before I slice the orange, I need to zest first because I need the rind, the orange rind for this recipe. I'll just use normal orange guys sorry just my chopping board is moving just only the rind we need it not the whole thing Okay guys, my orange is finished. I probably take all the orange skin. So I'll just put it this sorry, I put it this aside first guys and I started to brown the meat. Okay guys, my cast iron is um, already hot. I need to put oil. I use olive oil. Then I will put this marinated um, lamb tenderloin that I marinate with salt, pepper, and flour to brown it a little bit, guys. And I put into batches. Careful. 
<laughs> Is that fun, does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, right? Cut it out. Yeah, cut it out. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> no, my boss is just <laughs> No, that's not. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it's just teasing me, guys. What? I said, you're just teasing me. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, I take five percent for uh, whatever you make out of that. <laughs> as a uh, as a guest okay. guest appearance fee. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> I just came on laughing. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I just can't stop laughing. Okay guys, sorry. I'll just keep on laughing. It was really funny. <laughs> okay guys, my first batch of lumped meat is being browned, so I'll just put it aside and put it on the plate. Second batch is in. Second batch. I just flip the other side, guys. guys now I put the third and the last batch of my meat just be careful with your finger guys and your hands okay now I flip aside guys I 
I put it, I mean, on the other side. Yet, guys, it's almost brown. Maybe a few more seconds. Yeah, it's ready, guys. I just Take all of, all of this meat and put it aside. I use the same um, cast iron pot because all the flavor is there so I need to add on the onion and I will stir this guys to make it caramelized onion this onion is quite a lot because it's too whole onion but later on if it's already caramelized it will shrink down just stir a bit less Hi guys, my onion is being caramelized. Look at that guys, it's being shrunk down. I think maybe just two tablespoons left. And now I'm going to put cooking wine guys. If you don't have cooking wine, you can put red wine. So here we go guys. This wine, it helps the meat to be tender and the dish to be yummy. Maybe at around half cup, guys. Then I'll just scrape it a little bit. Then I'll just add on my carrot, guys, and the garlic together, and celery. The potato is later. Every time I use my very favorite tools, it's my hands. Then we'll just stir them together guys we 
then I'll just cover a little bit maybe just one minute and now guys we put our chopped tomato a can of chopped tomato we just stir 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 to mix it up One more minute. We put some water, guys. A little bit more. Stir it a little bit. Then I'll just cover it, guys, to make it boil maybe for one minute. guys we now put um, or add on our brown um, love meat that I browned it earlier so we just add on here I use the tongs because so that to avoid the meat will drop off into the stew I will just add on all together here. Yum. You just stir it a little bit, guys, to mix everything at the bottom. Yum. And now we put guys the orange cyst like that. And then the one orange that I use with this orange ring that I take it and then the juice of the one orange I just also add on here. guys we also add on one tablespoon of honey and pepper and salt guys then we just mix it all up and I will just cover this and simmer for 20 minutes and then I will add on later the potatoes and the green okay, peas I will just so for now I'll just simmer in low fire for 20 minutes earlier. so I just dump in into the cast iron guys Now I just am going to stir a little bit so that all the potatoes Sorry guys, medium and fire and we just, will just mix up. And 
now guys I'm going to add on the green peas I'm using frozen green peas guys And just I stir a little bit so that all of them will just mix up into the cast iron hi guys now I add on the bay leaves I just put the bay leaves, guys. You see, my boss is just teasing me. Hi. <laughs> bay leaves. Bay. They can't see. Now they can see. Now you can see, guys. Hi guys, you can actually put the fitted um, olives, but it's an optional. If you don't like, then just leave it. I, I didn't put, so if you just like olives, you can add on it. It's good. So here we go, guys. I just cooked this one. I will just simmer, I mean, this one for 45 minutes, and I will cover first. Four to five minutes guys look at that guys it's yummy it's still boiling it's cooked now guys it's ready Yum. Hi guys, I already put into the plate for serving. You can pair with this with crusty bread or white rice. Enjoy guys. Enjoy eating. Yum. Hi guys, thank you for watching my videos. I hope that you will help me to subscribe and support my channel. Comment, like, and share. Hit the notification bell for more updates. See you in my next vlog guys. Take care everyone. I love you. Bye guys.